Last Monday, Al Thomas, Charlottesville Police Chief, retired. He was Charlottesville's first African-American police chief. Here's what happened. To understand the story, first we need to go back to earlier this year on August 11th and 12th. The immediate question following the events was how was this allowed to happen? Nine days later, the first city council meeting after the rally saw things get heated. Listen, 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 listen. We're going to have to suspend the meeting. The right place for this is going to be Thursday night. Crucial to anarchists because they saved our lives. Actually, we would have been completely uh, crushed, and and I'll never forget that. Meaning what? Meaning that you had the police holding back on the one hand, so we couldn't even get arrested. We were there to get arrested. We couldn't get arrested. Three days later, a closed meeting was held to review the performance of City Manager Maurice Jones and Police Chief Al Thomas. Later that day in a Facebook post, Siner said the police chief reports to the city manager as total operational authority over operations like the one on August 12th, and that the mayor and council have no operational role. Four days after that, the city hired Tim Hafey of Hunt and Williams to lead an investigative review. They looked through more than half a million documents, 300 hours of video, and spoke with hundreds of people. The report was released on December 1st. It tore into the city's handling of the August 12th Unite the Right event, finding a greater number of failures in planning execution than victories. Specifically for August 12th, it had three sections for things that went right and 10 that went wrong. The report found numerous examples of police failing to act when requested by citizens, and the report stated Police Chief Thomas attempted to influence the review. The report stated, We learned that Chief Thomas and other CPD command staff deleted text messages that were relevant to our review. Chief Thomas reportedly denied this. That brings us to today. 17 days after the report's release, Chief Thomas retired. A day later, City Attorney Craig Brown announced he is leaving as well. Notably, the report by Hunnan and Williams say that both Brown and city manager Maurice Jones fully cooperated with their independent review. For now, Deputy Gary Pleasance is in charge. Next week, an official interim police chief will be appointed. Whoever is in charge, the city will need to ensure that it is ready in the case conflict does return to Charlottesville. If you think that we're going to back down to this kind of behavior by you, you, you in your little provincial town, you think we're going to back down? No. We are going to make Charlottesville the center of the universe.